Video games are often criticized for being too violent and for keeping children and teenagers glued to their television screens. But Concordia University researcher David Waddington argues that playing video games can be an educational experience. Waddington's latest research looks at the relationship between technology and citizenship. He examines the civic potential of video games and the possibility of using them as tools to promote a better understanding of political processes. A prominent video game ethicist theorized that games, certain types of games, may make us more aware of important social questions. And he was particularly interested in one video game, DEFCON, which is a nuclear war simulation. Basically what the player is presented with in DEFCON is a, uh, a world map in which uh, he or she has to play out a nuclear war. And the object of the game is to mitigate your losses, right? To have as few mega deaths on your side as possible. Now DEFCON is actually quite a unique simulation uh, in that it's uh, quite unpleasant to play. It's got a menacing soundtrack, it's got unpleasant sound effects of uh, people crying, people coughing. Video game ethicist Miguel Sica says that a game like DEFCON might make people more aware of the social implications of nuclear war and lead them to become more engaged in social issues. In an experiment he calls the DEFCON project, Waddington set out to test the theory. Uh, we uh, recruited Concordia students to come and uh, play the game and then we examined whether playing the game, whether playing DEF CON, whether engaging in this stark nuclear war simulation affected their attitudes towards nuclear weapons. And what we found is that playing DEF CON really did. Uh, affect the participants significantly. I mean participants levels of dread about uh, nuclear weapons increased after playing the game and participants really revealed some uh, interesting reflections about the possible dangers of nuclear war in the interviews uh, that we conducted.